<clears throat> so Saint, in the previous video, we talked about uh, creating content and we know that creating content kind of will lead to your personal branding or who you are and what you represent, what are your values. So in that mm -hmm. sense, how can job seeker create a personal brand online that will help them in their job search? So this is probably the question that I see a lot on LinkedIn mm -hmm. and so many people have got their own personal opinions on this. Um, ultimately, it comes down to firstly, the role that you're in okay so the role that you're in and how you can uh how you can take your own profile and put it in front of someone that's maybe looking for someone with your skills and talent now we see it all the time about authenticity great but experience is going to come into play because ultimately if i'm looking for a uh, an expert in their field this is what i'm going to look for so personal brand has to reflect in terms of the content you put out. So again, if I'm always talking about X, then hopefully I'm going to be in front of people that actually need that kind of expertise. But the brand itself, so the brand in terms of me, um, I, I never see myself as a personal brand. You know, I am an owner of my recruitment business, Bailey Jude. I'm also an, an owner of a youth academy as well. Now they don't sit hand in hand. Recruitment's here, youth academies here. So my personal brand that then comes down to my own purpose, what I'm looking to, to um, exude. Now my North Star for me is adding value. Yeah. So whatever my content happens to be, I always wanna make sure that I'm adding value and it could be a huge um, piece of information or it could be that 1% incremental information that I give every single day and that compounds into something that makes a, makes a difference. So the, the, the personal brand piece for me really does come down to making sure all of your assets, so for example, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, they, they all carry the same kind of message, which is similar headshots, making sure that one is, so for example, Facebook, if it's private, it doesn't matter, or Instagram, it doesn't matter. But if you're public in terms of Twitter and LinkedIn, they've got to marry each other. Yeah. You can't be super opinionated on uh, Twitter and really battle down and have really uh, derogatory comments to everything that you, you tweet about, but on LinkedIn, be this caring, compassionate individual. Because employers and recruiters do, surprisingly, they do look at your online presence. Yeah. So it's not about keeping it professional because we may not want to be there. You know, I, you know, my, my profile is professional, but my other profile may not be. Mm -hmm. But it's making sure you come across with, well, actually, I want to I get to know you more. Yeah. So how do I do that? You know, do, are, you, are you engaging enough? Can, can I reach out to you if I've got a question? Right. Um, and that's the kind of when you talk about a personal brand, you want to put yourself out there. You want to put yourself out there to a point where you're, you're opening up. This is what I do. Yeah. And I'm happy to answer questions. It's all pro bono. I'm not going to charge you for it at all. Yes. But the value add that I can give to you will hopefully help you as someone in my network move further along the line. And if we have that mentality of doing that for everyone within our circle, listen, it's, it, you know, the world's going to be, uh, be an amazing place. Um, and I also but the, know that, sorry, and I also know that sometimes job seekers follow companies on their social media and they comment and they add value. And sometimes the recruiter will think, okay, this guy is talking sounds or maybe we can reach out to us. I've heard stories that people were hired because of their comment or their, because of their in contribution to the, mm -hmm. to the website. It's a, it's a big thing. Again, it takes time. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm big into my, uh, the methodology that I use to run my business, which is you've you got to diarize it anyway, the end. But once you've diarized it and, and you're allocating 20, 25 minutes for that task, yes, yes it, will, it will seem arduous to start off with, but you'll get into a rhythm. But more so when you start to see some results, that'd be a big plus. So things like, and I go, I go back to my, my earlier session when we talk about making very uh, insightful comments on people in your network or companies, 
because they do see that. And all it takes is someone to go, great. And, and if we go back in the day where, yeah. you know, where you didn't have many people following you and every comment that someone made, it was like, oh, that's fine. You know, Jack's made a comment on my profile. Great. We'll reply to Jack. Jack's taken the time to, to send you a comment to go, hey, Saint, great article. I love what you said about this. Yeah. Now, if I don't take the time to respond to Jack, then how am I going to build up, number one, Jack ain't going to comment again because I've not taken the time. Yeah. But, 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 but also, it's so important because we all look, we all want to be liked. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we all want to be liked. So um, when, when someone takes that like, tick, or comment, it kind of reaffirms to you, great, I'll put out a great article or a great post or people love my, my profile. But what happens when they don't? Nothing should happen. Yeah. You know, we should still feel just as excited because we put out a piece of content. Mm -hmm. And just because someone's not ticking a like button or commenting on it, doesn't mean that they're not going to put some of that into use in their own lives. Doesn't and, and yeah. You know, yeah. we will not know the impact. But if we are passionate and we are authentic what we do and we are posting it, that I think that will also show in your comment or in your posts. It really will. It really will. Go. So the, 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 the overall branding of your profile, to go back to your uh, original question, really has to be where are you at? Putting out, conti not continuous five, six, seven posts a day, because again, that may not be what, you, what you're about but putting out enough content through visual video or, or written just for you to start to number, look, number one, by putting out more content, you're becoming more creative yourself. Right. Number two, there's so much out there in terms of free guides about, you know, what to potentially post. Mm -hmm. But the key thing I can say to any of your audience here is it doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah. It just needs to be done. And when we get out of our mindset that, okay, well, I've got to make sure this amazing piece of video that I've done, the lighting's good, um, you know, the audio sounds amazing, I've got some great graphics, you know, the background looks great. Listen, you could be in a park, walking your dog, have a, a eureka moment and go, hey guys, bang, and you put out a video. That, that's so genuine. Yes. And I think sometimes we, we miss the genuine side of when we post content because, again, I've been guilty of it in here, it, it may take me 22 times to do a, a, a two minute video. Yeah. And like, man, that, that's, that's, that's taken me 40 minutes to do a two minute video. Thankfully I don't now. I just put out whatever I, whatever I do. Yeah. I remember, in my, yeah. I remember yeah. my first video when I was doing through my phone was, it took me one hour just to come up with one minute, but now yeah. well, natural or easy to post it. Again, uh, those are great tips uh, in terms of online presence. Thank you, Saint. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in the subject of online presence, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for other great questions with Saint.